Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Codename Iceman. Last time we played some beggar's dice to win some stuff. Luckily it wasn't liar's dice. I would not want to see that guy take his pants off. And now uh, we drove the sub a little bit more. And uh, the captain has asked us to come topside to take a look at something. So let's stand up. Let's go up the bridge and check the situation out. And this happens automatically. As the captain scans the horizon, you hear him mumbling to himself. Let's see what he has to say. It's kind of hard to see from here, he says, but I do believe we have a couple of ships out there on the horizon. Continuing, he says, it looks like one is bearing down on us while the other appears to be heading port to starboard. Yeah, if you can look in the upper right, you do see those two ships there. The captain hands the binoculars to you, saying, see what you make of it, John. Take a look. Those certainly are some ships. Look at that. Ain't that neat. Captain wants to take another look, so he relieves you of the binoculars. This is not looking good, the captain says. Hmm, what are we going to do about this situation? We're going to stay here for a little bit longer. Luckily, oh. Of the Captain Cook's claims, things might get a little hot and heavy. We've got two Russian warships out there, and one of them is heading right for us. Luckily, the Captain's going to be right by our side the whole time. An excited voice the Captain says, Please sail, John, and get to your station. The Captain falls. Off the ladder. You call for a medic. Of all ways for the Captain to get injured, the Captain has sustained a serious concussion. The Blackhawks, medical officer, and assistant perform medical emergency treatment. After stabilizing him, they move him to his cabin. Time is running out as the Russian warship continues to bear down on your position. As second in command, the fate of the USS Blackhawk rests on your shoulders. Now this part can be bugged. Um, it didn't happen with me with my test run, but apparently if you like don't go through these fast enough, um, the time will run out on that and it'll just kill you before you can even get to your seat. But let's see what happens. All you'd have to do is just restore and then go through the text boxes super quick and then get to your seat super quick. Your actions and decisions will determine the outcome. So let's... Okay, cool. So we want to save the game now. All right, I'm going to press Shift F4, and that's going to turn on silent sonar. If you see in there in the lower right, it's turned on. You can do Shift F2, and that's going to turn on our firing console. Um, I want to dive down super deep to nearly a thousand feet, almost, not quite. Because then I'll hit the bottom. Tactical display keys are top bar, white extending for the white, right for instance, approaching enemy vessel. I'll just explain this to you. So we've got that ship in the upper right there, and we're in the lower left. So we are approaching it. So right now I'm going to dive as deep as I can go. So see in the upper right. Oh. All right. Oh, whoopsie daisies. I went too deep. You don't want to go to a thousand. <laughs> All right, so this should do. I come to a complete stop. I'm uh, almost a thousand feet, so I'm going to save again. So here's what we want to do here. Now, there's three different kinds of um, things I can launch. I can launch these regular missiles. Uh, there's also... Um, some decoys, which I don't want to launch on this fight. There's going to be another one later on. And then that different kind of torpedo meant for more underwater battle. Now, the ship's above water. Well, at the surface of the water, at least. So we want to use these. So what I'm going to do is you have to press Shift S6 to lock on and Shift S8 to fire. I don't want to do it quite yet because we're not close enough. But what's going to happen is when we see a red line coming from the ship, we want to save. And if that line reaches us and it's a hit, we want to restore until it misses. Same thing, when we hit them, a line will be coming from us. We'll know if it hit them if by the time the line gets to the end of the screen, the ship flashes. But if it doesn't, we want to restore there as well. And that's pretty much what we're going to be doing here. So I'm going to do one more save. And yes, I will be saving a lot here. This is where your saves come. Let's see if this works. Oh, 
Alright, we hit them, so I'm gonna save. Now I'm gonna wait until this comes toward us. Now you don't want to fire a torpedo if this is too close because our torpedo will hit theirs, explode near us, and do us some damage. I'm gonna get through this without getting any damage. Oh, by the way, that white line is how close they are to us. If they get above us, they can start shooting up, throwing depth charges at us. Torpedo passing by. Okay, let's save again. Test six. Luckily, our torpedoes are, or our harpoon missiles are super fast, but that didn't hit, so let's try again. That's another hit, just one more. Oh crap, and they're coming toward us. Let's not have that hit. Wow, they're getting fast. They're like faster than they were. Torpedoes still are fading, sir. Okay. We just need one more thing to hit them. Oh shoot, I've already... They've already come too close, so I need to restore. They were a lot faster now. When I did my test run, they weren't nearly this fast at getting over me. It's weird. Sometimes that'll happen, but I'll just say torpedo miss, so I'm guessing that the torpedo... Like... Exploded near us? I don't know. Anyway, there's a hit. That's the first one again. Okay, it took me a while. I got three hits, and so we just need to wait for this missile to hopefully miss us. This torpedo, whatever. Destroyer is sinking. Alright, we're good. Got through that with no hits. Single fish is coming at us. Um, torpedo passing by. Ha ha ha. Did it. Wasn't that exciting? Okay, I'm going to save again. Whew. And yeah, that's the uh, sub-battles that you, uh, that they hype up in this game. Oh, there are coded messages, sir. Alright. Radio jockey responds. Commander, the radio man. Here in the radio man says, I have a code message in Alpha that just came in from Naval High Command in Washington. The Washington code keys for the message are... And I'm going to uh, get these translated off screen, so I'll meet you at the computer. Alright, let's see if I got these codes right. Destroy... And... Ship. Contacting fishermen after exiting water. Contact agent for further instructions. Okay, that's from Washington. Let's, let's try the CIA one, which is always trickier. Ocean and war. Bring to the primary. Blah blah blah. After polar crossing is achieved, do not surface for remainder of mission. Oh, all right. Sounds like a plan, I guess. Okay, so we've got our messages. We survived that battle. Um, maybe we should check on the captain. And now that I've got those, uh, I want to save again. But yeah, like the captain just falls off the ladder. Like I understand that maybe like a torpedo exploded near us and knocked him off kilter or something, but no, he just falls. And that's just an excuse to like kind of like make us in charge, I guess. They could have just done it better. They could have done it better. The dog looks at you and says, I'm sure the captain will require this medication for a few days to come. Well, it continues, it looks like the Black Hawk and crew is in your hands now. Next, he says, I'm sorry, Commander, but the captain is under medication and sleeping. The amount of pain he was experiencing from the head injury made it necessary to, to sedate him, he explains, so I can understand that. It's not looking good. Alright. Welp. Let's uh, get back on the controls. Uh, continue our mission. That's kind of necessary. So, 
reports many icebergs in the area. Uh oh. Why you turn on TV monitor and slow down? Okay. So, let me see. So we've got our speed. Oh yeah, we want our speed at slow. I'm already on there. Somebody already did that for me. Okay. So we've got a monitor here. And, uh, oh yeah, we want to avoid these icebergs. But you also want to make sure that we arrive at our destination at about zero. Because that's how we get full points. If we get hit three times, we lose. But if we arrive with no hits and arrive at um, a heading at zero, then we should get full points. I can't guarantee anything. I'm going to try my best. Luckily, it isn't that hard. It's like it looks like we should be hitting them, but we aren't. Alright, I'm going to save right now. So like this is like one of two parts that is like I can't guarantee a perfect score. But this isn't going so bad for me. Alright, come on. I know this episode is super exciting. Oh crap. Doing really well. Oh crap. We got past him. Didn't get a hit. I'm at a zero bearing. Hopefully. Score for Crescent Ice Peak 10 out of 10. Nice. Yes. That's what I was hoping for. I didn't even have to practice that. Alright. Alright, so ice field clear. There are reports of breaking the ice ahead, sir. We have active sonar on 150 degree arc, 100 miles south of the true north. Uh, stationary could be I station looking for us. Okay. Let's contact the station. Radio reports contact with I station has been made. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save now. That'll be the end of the video, but uh, what will Ice Station have to say to us? Can we survive without our captain? You're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Codename Iceman. Thank you for watching and have a good day.